Hi, it's Anna. Welcome to Ruhani Wellness Center. Today we have a tutorial on our wrists and our hands and how to release them from all the pressure that we put on them while we are typing too much. So let's start wrist tutorial. So start with your hands at prayer. Take a comfortable position, roll your shoulders back, and just take a second to thank your hands for doing everything that they do for you. They are an extension from your heart. So just breathe in, and exhale, just feel the energy in your palms. Allow this moment to help you thank your hands from, for doing everything that they do. Inhale, open your hands. So, we are going to start separating our palms, our arms like this, taking the palms up, rolling the shoulders back, and pressing your fingernails towards your ears. So, really stretching the bottom of the arms. Inhale deeply. Exhale, shoulders back. And then twist, take your fingertips down. And you really want to try to get those fingernails to come toward you and release and take your hands in front of you mm -hmm. and come into four supports let's come back and forward a little bit just stretching the wrists okay and now we're gonna take the fingers to face you this way the more you take your hips back the more you're gonna be stretching on those wrists so you stretch back and you try to get the bottom of the wrist to the floor so if it's too much, you can just stay here. You can even take a book and place it under your hands and take your palm on the book. Okay, so you don't have to take it too far. Now, take the back of your hands on the floor. Fingertips are still pointing towards you. And you're going to begin to do little fists and stars. So it can be a lot with two hands. You can do one hand. The other palm is facing down. Fingertips forward. And give me five. Okay, and then other side, let's go five. Okay, and then take the palms out, go from side to side. And come back to center. Now we're gonna take the fingers, okay, and we're gonna go one by one, and this is from Thai Massage, clearing the energetic channels. And it's like you're squeezing to rinse out the energy and you're also working on the tendons that help you move your fingers around and last one and thumb and release your rings so you don't have to go all the way down it's just to get the energy flowing and it's like you're squeezing all of that excess of energy out of your fingers at the same time that you are increasing the flow of energy and blood circulation. Okay, now shake your hands. Okay, back to the wrists. Take a comfortable seated position where you can feel that your low back is not arching like this because we're gonna take the sole of the right foot on the floor. So you can take a block so you can sit steady and press your elbow on your knee. So the knee's gonna be support. Here you wanna take your opposite hand and squeeze between those little bones. So right where those bones are in the base of your hand, right above them, you wanna squeeze that in. Mm -hmm. And pull down. So you're squeezing in and down, and now your fingertips are going up and away from you, and then you sway your hand back and forward. So it's not dead, it's really stretching like you have spider webs coming from your fingertips. Like you can create your reality with them. So they're going all the way to the corners of the world, breathing in and out. Okay, do you feel like you lost it? Re catch it. Pull down one more time. And release, shake it off. Pause for a second, and here you can really feel the difference between both wrists. 
if uh, you're feeling tension from doing a lot of yoga or handstands or things like that, I would recommend you go straight into this exercise. Let's go to the other side. Elbow to the knee. You locate, you find those bones. Super interesting to feel your own body. Yeah, you have bones. And then squeeze the wrist in and pull it down. Fingertips pulse up and you go back and forward. Again, remember, it's super important to stretch them through. Recatch if you slipped on that hand. Back and forward. Just working on the wrists and even the nerves that go inside the tunnel. And shake them up. Good. Roll your shoulders back. Now, you can just stay here, but I'm going to offer you an extra exercise for feeling the energy in the palms of your hands. So, what you're going to do is extend your arms forward, plug the arm bones back, and then you really want to um, take one palm down, so they're opposite, and you want to squeeze and lengthen. Do a little fists and stars, again, like you're throwing a spell. And you really want to squeeze and lengthen. So it's energetical. Yeah? Squeeze, stretch, squeeze, stretch. As fast as you can. For five, four, three, two, one. Now pause here, flip the pancake, and keep going. So I know this is a lot for your arms as well. So you're getting a little bit of an arm workout here too. Bonus. Breathe in and out. You got this. A little faster for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, I know. Three, two, one, and pause. Feel the energy between your palms. So you're not getting them together. You're getting the, uh, your palms as close to each other as it is possible for you to feel the energy between the palms. If you don't feel them, you don't feel the energy, try to bring the palms closer to each other. But maybe they don't touch. You can feel that magnetic energy between your palms. Like there's a thin layer of energy that won't allow your palms to touch. It's super subtle. Or it might not be subtle. Breathe it in and out. This is the energy in the palms of your hands, and this is how much your hands can do for you. We are healing beings that have healing abilities to help ourselves and others. So now take your palms anywhere in your body that feels tension. I fell from my motorcycle the other day. You can see I'm scratched. So my shoulders are a little tense. Take three deep breaths. palms at the center of your heart, shoulders back. Now your elbows stay high. Press your left hand into your right and then press your fingertips towards that elbow we're working on. Relengthening those ligaments again because we tightened them back up a little. Another side. And let go. So that's it. You release the ligaments, the nerves, and the hands, and you energize them and strengthen them as well. I hope that this um, is good for you. Let me know if it works, and yeah, be thankful for these. Have fun. Ciao.